Good morning, folks. We've got a couple things to discuss in terms of space weather. We'll look at a big earthquake, Enceladus chemistry, the solar magnetic field, and a planet that tips the scales in terms of thermodynamics. But we are starting with our star. And we find the last 24 hours contained a few snaps and eruptions, none aimed at Earth, but surely an uptick from the previous two days. We'll need to monitor the active regions as they face the Earth and the plasma filaments, which can snap away quite violently, as we saw on the incoming limb just this morning. The two plasma filaments we're watching most today are crossing the central heliographic longitudes there as the thin, dark ropes in the corona. Eyes on them. Looking at the solar wind telemetry, we can see the impact of the coronal hole stream. Second line from the bottom and each shows the jump up in plasma speed. The impact to the magnetic field was easily noticeable in the geospace magnetosphere modeling. We have been in geomagnetic storm conditions throughout the night, peaking at a level 2 event. Those should begin to wane back today. Had a big earthquake in the Tonga region. 7.2 at the low velocity zone and an aftershock nearer to the surface at 6.0. No tsunamis. Luckily, the bigger event was out to sea and deep, and there were no immediate reports of damage. Let's go out to Enceladus next, where we've recently seen a record plume event at the South Pole Jets, but now the review of Cassini data shows phosphorus in the oceanic layer below the ice. It's the first time they've spotted that key building block of life outside of the Earth. Interesting paper has come out detailing a class review talk given four years ago detailing a change in the coronal magnetic fields. This aligns with our previous investigations on how the coronal magnetic fields are changing and impacting the helium chemistry in the corona. Nice little Easter egg for veteran observers there, pointing back to the main solar changes in the ongoing solar system shift. Lastly, folks, hopefully we remember a few years ago they discovered a star no hotter than a pot of coffee a baffling find. Today, we're on the other side of the scale. They report a planet hotter than the sun. These extreme ends of the scales continually force them to rethink what they know about objects in space and represent an excellent reason to be skeptical of the claims they know how everything works out there. Our latest issue of the e-magazine came out yesterday. Once again, it is our highest recommendation number one way to support the observers and you can sign up at the link below the video. You can also get tickets to our events and find other resources at the links below in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.